continent is also one all. of the most mysterious places on Earth. It's as unique as it is secretive. And unlike most destinations... I wouldn't be surprised they start resurrecting niggas soon. Then they take over the world, all the dead people. An emperor penguin, exploring the Antarctic is forbidden. Even wow. if you could, good luck overcoming frostbite-inducing temperatures of negative 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Or 130 degrees. degrees Celsius. But why is it restricted? And where do these rules come from? Zambies. Your mittens and let's find out. Before the mid-1900s, we knew almost nothing about Antarctica. Then, an American Navy explorer by the name of Admiral Richard Byrd Jr. changed everything. Oh, and before you go asking Santa for presents, the Antarctic is actually at the South Pole. Antarctica equals South, Arctic equals North. Comprende? Mm. Anyway, what was Byrd's deal? Aside from enormous expanses of ice, endemic wildlife, and wintry conditions he'd never before seen, what else exactly did he find? While it's still shrouded in mystery, many think that Bird came across an underground civilization called Agartha. Here, check <gasps> out. Oh my god! Black Ops! While it's still shrouded in mystery, many think that Bird came across an underground civilization called Agartha. Here, check it out. In 1957 and Black Ops, a bunch of countries came together and were like, you know what? We love what this new research is showing, and we what? need to protect Antarctica. Black Ops, there's so a place the in Black Ops called Treaty uh, was created. What does that mean? Agartha. Exactly? Well, it means that smarty pants scientists and lab coats can venture into the now icy abyss for research purposes. For the rest of us, there are exceptions, of course. We can, for example, head to the Antarctic waters on a cruise ship. Can we set foot on the land as well? Technically, yes. There are a few Hold landing on. spots along the peninsula, but compared to the entire continent's mass, it isn't even a sliver. The treaty also stated that no single nation could own Antarctica. It's divided up into partial ownership for these seven countries. Here, check it out. Hold on, I want to see, I want to see. Hold on. Hold on, I'm fixing my mic. This kind of interesting. The more you fucking know, right? Why, like, why, why, don't, why don't I know this stuff in life? I mean, it doesn't... I mean, I'll never need to know this in life, but like, but like, why don't I know this? You know what I'm saying? I'll never, ever need to know this in life, but it's like, why don't I know this? So we know we're not allowed to wander around the frostbitten land of Antarctica. Wait, I didn't even read, look at the Fuck. Ownership for these seven countries. Argentina, Australia, Chile, France, New Zealand, Norway, United Kingdom. Check it out. Damn, United so States don't own to Antarctica? Around the frostbitten land of Antarctica, but why crazy. exactly is that? First and foremost, it's for the protection of the one environment. Of them the it makes sense to me. Hell yeah, they the did. southern tip is a place overflowing with biodiversity. There's endemic species, underground mountains. Yeah, you heard that right. Blood red waterfalls and even gold spewing volcanoes. What? As much as we wait, 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 wait. I'm not paying attention to this first shit. First and foremost, it's for the protection of the environment. It makes sense, too. The world's southern tip is a place overflowing with biodiversity. There's endemic species, underground mountains. Yeah, you heard that right. Blood red waterfalls and even gold spewing volcanoes. But as much as we do want to keep our beloved environment thriving, we've also. Bro, that shit from. Hold on. Is it still showing? Hey, Merry Christmas to you too, bro. Have a jolly, 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 jolly blessed Christmas, man. Appreciate you coming in and say Merry Christmas. Merry fucking Christmas Eve to you. Hope all your blessings and wishes came true this year and to many more, many more, many more next year. Now let's run this fucking back. Because what they talking about mountains underground yeah, and right. gold spewing Blood volcanoes. Waterfalls and even gold spewing volcanoes. But as much as we do want to keep our beloved environment thriving, we've also been banned for our own safety. Temperatures can drop to a whopping negative 130 degrees Fahrenheit. That's negative 90 Celsius. For most of us, protecting the environment and ourselves is the whole story. However, for a select few, it's believed that there's some rather shady stuff going on behind that ice wall. 
As you can see, it's completely visible on Google Maps satellite view, so if something shady was going on, it must be rather well hidden. Perhaps this giant alien face-like structure could be a sign of the unknown. Ooh, we won't Transformers! into other theories, but they do include a supposed hidden fortress used in World War II, claims that an ancient civilization once lived down there, and of course the idea that it's the gateway to the end of the world because the world is flat. Uh, yeah. Oh my God, bro! Once lived down there. I gotta go to Antarctica. So many. It's the gateway to the end of the world because. Hey, fucking Christmas, Aiden. Uh, How you feeling, my boy? Right. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Merry okay, Christmas to you so too, man. That Luffy. We did try to visit. Dad, yeah, didn't she used to be a One Piece head? Break the rules. Get ready to deal with fines of up to ten thousand U.S. dollars and even a year behind bars for each rule that you break. There are a heap of rules to follow. Are you done with the show? Revolve around protecting native wildlife. Bro, Antarctica hey, has so many secrets that I know area, it, bro. Who's actually going to punish us? Well, it depends on where you're from. According to the Antarctic Treaty, anybody accused of a crime in Antarctica is subject to punishment by their own country. No but what if you're just, just waiting, visiting bro. as a tourist I from a country that isn't part of the treaty? Well, in that case, waiting for what? the host nation of the ship or plane you arrived on takes the reins. And the captain or pilot of the ship could take full temporary control. Bro, I'm going to Antarctica, bro. Antarctica uh, isn't only a resort Are you caught up? Mass, but also one of the largest forbidden airspaces on the planet. It's because of legislation that was introduced in the 80s under the Reagan administration. A law was created that stated no aircraft, regardless yes. of where they are. Why is that a question, Mark? How the fuck am I supposed to know that? From an airfield in case of an emergency. Since the infrastructure Yo, around the South Yo, Pole is next Amigo, to none, Air we have to Stanford, avoid it PS, in the name of safety. Amigo, Mio, of course, that rule Lago usually only affects commercial the jets. Vermouth Chartered process. jets can still come and go to bring staff to the research bases, which hovers around 3,000 in the summer and I mean 400 in, in winter. Month. But While it can become rather bleak and boring, stones. there are still a few basic facilities on offer. At McMurdo Station, there's some coffee shops, a general store, what up, Bear? A post office, and two solitary ATMs. Sadly, some who make it down there don't make it back. Over the there's years, a coffee shop in Antarctica? Discovered beneath the ice, and some are never discovered at all. In total, the number of fallen explorers is thought to be in the hundreds. Damn, R.I.P. That's all for why no one's allowed to explore the Antarctic. Do you think?